Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial with me, Pug Gaming. Today we're going to carry on the roundabout theme from last week and we're going to work on the creation of a single mini roundabout. So the first job, just like the dual roundabout, is select the right road. So we're using the standard two-way mini lanes here. And then once we've got that connected up to the roads that we're interconnecting, we can then upgrade that roundabout to the single layer slip roads, which are perfect for this scenario. The rest of the roads around it can stay to whatever they are, they, well, whatever you want them to be. You really just have to make sure that this roundabout here has those roads. This is the key to creating the flat, smooth, mini roundabout effect that you see very regular in the UK. Now the next job is to create the priority and the lane movements so they are reflectant on a standard mini roundabout. As I say, this is a left hand drive mini roundabout from the UK so traffic goes all the way from the left and give way to the right. So we need to add the priorities in there and once that's done we can then work on the actual lines themselves. So what we're doing here is pretty much just creating what the lines should look like and going from there. So once we've done all the lines we can then work on the asphalt after. Now there will be times depending on your actual ground layout and how the actual terrain is where you come into a couple of problems and one of which is when you're placing down the asphalt you'll sometimes be left with a bit of a nasty overhang. So as you can see here up this ramp, well sorry up this hill um, means that we're having a bit of a gap in between the actual road and asphalt. Now I could carry this road all the way along and kind of put it to one side by doing that but I want to show you a way that I found and a way I achieved to get a nice looking ramp. So all we're doing here is actually raising up using the move it mod tool the asphalt and moving the road up a little bit as well um, in its uh, from its nodes and then once you line up the actual asphalt and get them into the right location you can get a ramp sort of effect here and whilst I could have spent a bit more time on making it look, looking a little bit more realistic you can get the idea that you can cover up these areas as well so there's always workarounds and certainly now with the mods available it's a lot easier than it used to be so that's pretty much it guys I'll leave you with some cinematics of this mini roundabout and don't forget if you enjoy this video I have also done a tutorial on how to do some UK dual roundabouts so check that link which should be popping up from above very shortly. Otherwise guys thank you very much for watching I hope this has been some help and I will catch you all very very soon. All the best.